In the previous video, we added symbols to our artwork and I want to show you now what the real benefits of using symbols are, because um, as it stands, we don't really see much more benefit to using symbols other than the fact that we've got a nice little repository to drag and drop them from. First of all, let's take a look at a standard way of being able to change a symbol. So I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and then just zoom into this region here where we've got a few and I'm going to edit the castle. The classic way, so to speak, the long-standing way to edit a symbol is to go to your selection tool at the top of the tools panel, hover over the symbol that you wish to edit and then double left click. And Illustrator will then say to us, hey, look, you're about to go and edit this, what's called a symbol definition. You're going to go in a version of isolation mode where you can only edit this artwork. And once you've made any changes, any symbol that's the same type, called a symbol instance, will be changed as well. So you can uh, click OK to that. And this is the isolation mode. So uh, everything uh, other than the castle becomes sort of pale. It's been locked away. You can't click on anything except the castle symbol. So if I left click on that, we changed it to black. But then maybe someone peers over your desk and says, oh, um, that actually it needs to stay brown like the original. OK, so no problem. Um, I'll go over to the fill color chip in here. And then just make sure that, you know, if you are on swatches, just head back to the color mixer and I'll edit this color so that the cyan is 25, the magenta is 45, yellow 60, and finally the black set to zero. And then you can press return. Once I've made that color change, obviously notice that we've got the other castle at the side that hasn't changed at the moment. And it will only change when we come out of isolation mode. And you do so by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. You'll then notice that the other symbol instances have updated, including the original that sits inside of the symbols panel. And that's the standard way to edit a symbol inside of Illustrator and save yourself a good deal of time.